Hi, it's Philo. Before setting up my bullet journal for December, I wanted to show you the washi tapes the washi tape shop sent me. As you know, I started reading again recently, so this set was perfect. I link it down below and you can get it with a discount using my code Pujo by Philo 10. This was the perfect opportunity to finally do a theme about books. So here, starting with the cover, I doodled some books in a pattern. I pre-sketched the pattern just like I did with the flowers in my November theme. So I basically evenly spaced circles with my circle ruler and then doodled some books in different um, orientations inside those circles. As you may know, I'm actually very bad at perspective, but um, you know how you learn drawing perspective with cubes? This is actually very close to that example, so it's really easy and I think that's a good exercise. Then I started coloring the books with a neutral green, a beige and a brown, alternating between the covers and the spines. And finally, I colored the pages in a very light beige to give it more of a vintage old book look. Let's not forget that December is also Christmas and books bring magic into our lives. So I added stars everywhere. And finally, you know how I love to bring some elements from one theme to the next. Here uh, it will be the stamped headers on craft paper. Now with the monthly page, I doodled a bunch of books in a kind of pattern, just like I did with the cover. In case you missed it, I did a wrap up about the books I read in October. And for my November wrap up, I decided to do a reading journal. So if you're interested in books, subscribe so that you get notified next week when I upload this video. And now adding the last calendar of the year, which seems so unreal. And my focus and book sections. And while I'm coloring these books, I wanted to ask you something. Do you buy specific editions of the books you want to read? Do you collect books? in certain colors or editions so that they match because I usually borrow them or try and find the cheapest ones but I really want to build a library in our new place since we had <clears throat> kind of flood in our last place so I, I watched a lot of booktube videos and I saw that this was a thing to collect books according to their colors or their editions and even though it's not really something I can afford right now it's definitely something I enjoy watching so let me know if you do that or if you enjoy watching it from afar <laughs> 
back to the calendar. I was really happy that December has 31 days because apparently I tend to do 31 days whatever the month. And again, adding a bunch of stars so that the books float in a nice starry sky. And finally, adding those beautiful washi tapes I showed you at the beginning of the video. So that I have the nice and full library I want, at least in my bujo. And finally, I'm cutting out the Dutch door so that I can admire those beautiful washi tapes from the cover. For my memory spread, I also decorated it with those washi tapes so that we can see them from the monthly spread. And apart from that, I kept it very simple. So now I'm going to show you all five weeklies I did for December, but since they are all variants around the same theme and the same structure, I have edited it so that it doesn't feel long and repetitive. So they all have a vertical layout divided in eight boxes, one of which will be a collage. They're all Dutch doors, so that they feel like a little book inside the notebook. And for the collage, I mainly used stickers from Mushy Works, Hedgehog's Den and Viola Maria Arts. I will link their shops down below. On the left page, I'm adding my work hours tracker so that I can report my timesheet at the end of the month. I'm also adding a mini calendar highlighting the holidays. For the next weekly, as you can see, the layout is the same. I just changed the spot for the collage. With this third weekly, we are quickly approaching the end of the year and this one is the last school week of the year, at least in Spain. And it's also my favorite weekly of the month. Christmas week. 
and to highlight the day we've been waiting for all year long, I chose a little lantern and candles. And here we are with the last weekly, not only of the month, but of the whole year. For this one, I tried my hand at a cursive handwriting. It's a bit more messy and I like it. I wanted to make the 1st of January really pop out this page and I don't really like it, but it's okay. And now with the right part of this little book of weeklies. I just added a mini calendar for January on top of my beloved washi tapes. And now let's flip through those last pages of 2022 together. I'm happy I ended this year with a very decorative and functional theme and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and I'll see you next week with my reading journal. In the meantime, enjoy planning!